Is Lyme disease becoming more or less in the populations today? It may actually be coming a little bit less as people learn how to prevent Lyme disease. So now I hear many kids tell me that in their camp or in their Girl Scout or Boy Scout program, when they go on a hike or a trip, they're told to wear jeans and to tuck their jeans into their socks. These are all preventive things that people do to try to avoid a tick getting on you. And then at camps, I hear from a lot of children that at camp they do look for ticks at night. And so that's all very smart and a very good way to try to prevent the disease. So people are much more aware now than they used to be. So it seems because we're doing the right thing, we're going to have less of it, we hope, yes. down the road. And there are also very good tick repellents, even in sunscreen nowadays. And that's also very helpful. So for children who go to a camp where they may be at high risk or are doing activities during the day where they may be exposed, it's a very good idea to use one of those products. They are safe for children, and they can help to repel ticks. Is there any particular main ingredient you look for if you look for it? The ingredient is called DEET, D-E-E-T, and I know that a lot of parents are fearful because in the past it's been said to be a very powerful chemical, but the amount that's put in these products is safe for children. And so when we look at what we call the risk-benefit ratio, the bad things that could happen from using it versus the bad things that could happen from not using it, these are very safe products to use, and certainly the protection outweighs any of the risk because you're not going to apply that much.